We've taken on this side and actually framed in the wall with the PVC trim mm -hmm. on the bottom as well as on the side, which is going to make it easy to do the nice square edges. Yep. Um, the problem we have is on this side where there's not a square edge to butt up against and we have the irregularities of the stone. Right, um, right. So that's, we need to figure out a way to... Well, that's a tough cut. Now you could take each individual piece of siding as you go up and scribe it to the stone. It's a lot of work and it's time consuming. The other problem that you could have is this siding will actually wick water or moisture from the chimney and it could damage the siding. So what I want to do is take a piece of trim board same type of trim that you used on the rest of the house, and we'll actually frame around the chimney with it. We'll create a nice tight joint here where it meets the chimney, and we'll give you a straight edge for your siding to die into, and it'll be watertight. To get started, let's get some trim board. All right, here's a piece of trim board. This is the PVC trim that you've got on the rest of the house. This is a piece of five quarter by five, and I've drawn a one inch line down the edge from this edge. Next thing I want to do is I want to hold it against the chimney and I want to make it plumb. So let's have that level. Now let's see how we do it. Okay, that's good right there. All right, now hold that trim board so it doesn't move. Now this one inch line represents the thinnest part of the trim that I want to see after we scribe the board. Now where the trim board touches this stone right here, I set my scribes to that width. So now when I scribe along the chimney, the narrowest part of the board will be right here at this stone. All right, here's our scribe line on our trim. Now I've set my saw on a 45 degree angle because I want to back cut the trim so the leading edge will touch the chimney. All right, let's see how we did. All right, that looks, that looks pretty good. All right, I, now that piece of mortar up here is actually holding the trim out. So I need to get a cold chisel and chisel that out. All right, that should do it. Oh yeah, fits good. Okay. Now our piece of trim board that runs along the bottom of the chimney here is all scribed and installed. Now before we installed it, we ran a nice thick bead of caulking down along the stone and we pushed the trim into that on top of this felt right here. And then up here we had to do something different. Because of the angle of the chimney, there's a space between the stone work of the chimney and the sheathing. We had to fill that gap with flashing, so I used lead. I use lead because it's very malleable. I bent it at a 90 degree angle and I tapped it down to follow the irregularity of the chimney. I run a big thick bead of sealant under that and push the lead into it. Now the sealant will stop any water from migrating under the lead and getting between the stone and the sheathing. I then put a piece of trim on top of the lead and I nailed it in and caulked along the top. That will give you some place to end the siding. Now up here along the chimney where it meets the house, we have a different situation and let me show you how we're going to deal with that. Now I've installed our soft flashing right here and that's stable to the building. Now if you notice there's a big gap here between the chimney and the sheathing. If we take a regular piece of trim it'll slide right behind there and we still have a gap. So we can't scribe the piece to the chimney. To solve that problem we're going to take two pieces of trim and screw them together making up a wide piece. What we do is we put it on the wall like that. Now, so I can insert this piece of trim behind the chimney, I first have to cut a straight line in the stone. To do that, I'm gonna use my circular saw with a diamond blade. To get a straight edge down the chimney, I'm running my saw against the house and that will also give me the gap that I need for the trim. The circular saw created a score. Now I have to knock off these pieces of waste with my cold chisel. All right, Stephen, I want to start at the top, putting the trim into the slot that we made and putting it up underneath the roof sheathing. So I'll put mine in. All right, now run a little bead of caulking right down there on top of that angled trim, just a little bead. All right, that's good. Okay, now you can push your trim in. Okay, that's good. Now is in where it goes? Yep, it's right on the line. All right, now let me tap it in up here and see if I can get to the line. 
looks pretty good there. All right, now I'm going to screw it in place. Well, there you have it. Three different ways to install trim around a chimney. One behind, one on top, and one scribed to the chimney. And now you have a nice straight edge to end your clapboards on. Thanks, Tommy. This looks great. I can't wait to get back on that scaffolding and start the clapboards. It was my pleasure. Thanks. Mm -hmm.